Hello guys, we are from group 6 and today we will discuss about the cash flow analysis. But first, let me introduce our group member. The first one is Angino Faisha Asmir, and then we have Ardi Kurniawan, and last but not least is me, Clara Muna Sibarani. And I will be the first presenter in this topic. So our subtopics that we will discuss are first, statement of cash flow. Second is analysis implication of cash flow. The third is analysis of cash flow and the last is specialist cash flow ratio. Okay, so the first topic is about the statement of cash flow. Okay, so cash flow refers to the incoming cash that the company currently has minus the outgoing cash. So the purpose of preparing a statement of cash flow is to provide information about cash flow out and into the company in the period. So based on the type of activity, cash flow are divided into cash flow for operating activities, investing, and funding or financing. Okay, so let's discuss it one by one. So the first is about the operating activities. So operating cash flow, it reports the amount of cash generated from sales and cash used in the production process. Included in this category are business activities related to the earning related activities. So these activities include various cash outflow and cash inflow resulting from lending to the customer, investing in inventory, obtaining credit from suppliers, and so on. So this operating activity relates to the account indicated in the income statement or the nominal account and a small portion of accounts that indicated by the balance sheet or real account including account receivable, inventories, payable, and accrued expense. And the next is about the investing activities. So invested cash flow reports the amount of cash used to purchase property land, plants, and equipment to finance acquisition and cash generated from the sale of asset or business units. So included in this category are business activity during the acquisition or sale of non-cash asset or disposing of non-cash asset. Included in this type of category are activity that involve asset that, if used, will benefit the company. And the next is about the financing activities. So, financing cash flow reports transaction related to the capital structure. This type includes various type of activities related to the search for funds, withdrawal and provision of service, including the acquisition of loan funds from creditors and the payment of the principal loan by the company. So, the provision of funds or contribution are withdrawals by the owner and the payment of dividends okay so these activities also have a key element so let's discuss one by one so in the operating activities the key elements present in this cash flow from operation are as follows first is cash collection from sales cash inputs into the monthly or retail process cash operating expense cash interest expense interest income and dividend income and the last is cash tax payment and the next is in the investing activities, the core elements of investing cash flow are the first is purchase of property, equipment, land, factories, and buildings, expenses to finance business acquisition, and the next is income from the sale of asset, and the last is investment or sale of asset included in the market table securities. And the last in the financing or funding activities. So the key elements of financing cash flow are the first is cash dividend paid, the next is increase or decrease in short term loan, and the next is long term loans and long term loan payment, and the last is sell and the repurchase of shares. Okay, so that's all from me, and the next discussion will be discussed by RD. So RD, time is yours. All right, so we're going to talk about uh, implication of statement analysis of cash flow. Analysis implication of cash flow. So here, the statement of cash flow show the implication of obtaining income on cash. The report also reveal how many assets the company acquire in a given time and how this asset were financed. The cash flow statement also about how the net income and cash flow of operation can be deferred. Actually, the company uh, that are successful and earn high return and experience increased amount of investment in receivable and inventories will use additional funding information from long-term debt provider or stock buyer to obtain additional funding. Companies that are not successful, namely using the cash flow statement to determine the magnitude of decrease in the amount of receivable and investment and inventory. 
So analysts can also focus analyze on change in operating working capital under some time condition. So some of the key question or analytical tools that usually analyze use for when using cash flow statement is uh, how much cash is generated from uh, or used in the operation of the company, how to finance and increase in investment, how to pay dividend if the company has an operating loss, and also why is the cash amount lower despite the increase in the company revenue. Cash flow analysis is useful to determine the company's ability to pay debt, pay dividend, increase operating capacity, and obtain fund or financing. This analysis also helps to determine the quality of earning and how much revenue profit can be predicted from future cash flow. All right, so the next topic is about analysis of cash flow. We know that uh, in, uh, in this example, in year one, uh, they have net cash account balance is 3,000 and year two, this is a mistaken case. So in year two, uh, we have net non-cash account balance in 5,000. So here, there are an increase in cash from year, year one to year two. Uh, the increase is 2,000, which is equal to the amount of increase in value non-cash balance. This is indicated by the equation of asset equal to liabilities and equity. So that one side change in the balance sheet must be the same with another account change. Uh, the use debit and credit analysis of change in this account is useful to check the impact of this change on the source uh, and use of cash, as well as to classify account changes in the three type activities. This analysis usually used in the approach of reconstruction of transaction through the account, or also called the account, as one of the why used by financial analysts in studying cash flow statement. With this approach, the analysis needs to prepare a cash flow statement with data derived from the balance sheet, income statement, and and other data, and use adjustment to the balance. Okay, uh, the next topic will be explained by uh, my friend Andy. Uh, thank you. Thank you. The next material is about specialized cash flow ratio. So here the cash flow ratio are mathematical equations that used to determine the state of a business finance. Cash flow ratio are especially useful when we are trying to understand companies' profits and loss. So the cash flow is the money continuously coming in and out of a business. So the more cash flow a company has, the less susceptible it is to financial damage that will caused by a decrease in the overall business. The cash flow ratio are very important for the financial analysis of a business because each ratio reveals a specific financial aspect of the company. So when we are using the cash flow ratio, a business finds out how much money it has and where its money is going and what it needs to do to maintain a balanced budget. So the cash flow ratio provides business the opportunity to identify several types of financial issues and improve even them. So they also narrow down the essential information a business owner wants to know, such as how much money they have to invest or how much money that they want to pay off debts while also considering the role of the interest. So the type of cash flow ratio, the first is current liability coverage ratio. The ratio calculates how much money a business has available to pay off the debt. This equation calculates the amount of money it must pay within a fiscal year or in an operating cycle and a business should have enough money to pay the liabilities in full. So if the after calculating the ratio, the result is a number greater than one, it means the business has enough money to pay off the current liabilities. 
So the formula for calculating the operating cash flow ratio is cash flow from operations divided by average current liabilities and it will show the operating cash flow ratio. And the next is cash flow coverage ratio. So this ratio considers the debts as a business owes and whether the current cash flow they have enough to pay for them. So the resulting number reveals how many times a business can pay its principal amount and interest with its current cash flow. So this will provide insight into a business abilities to pay the current amount. And the formula is cash flow from operations divided by the total amount of the debt. It will show the cash flow coverage ratio. And the next is price to cash flow ratio. So the price to cash flow ratio considers the price of a business share determined by the stock's current price. So this price is to cash flow ratio amount is important because it reveals how valuable the business is at a given time. A lower price to cash flow is ideal and demonstrating that share value will most likely increase. This also means that although the stock price are not high, the business can support itself with the current cash flow. And the formula for this ratio is share price divided by cash flow price per share it will show the price to cash flow ratio okay so the next is interest coverage ratio the interest coverage ratio looks at the business interest payments and how easily a business can pay its total debt and uh, interest a business should strive to have a number above one so the formula for calculating the interest coverage ratio is the earnings before interest and taxes divided by the interest and it will show the results to the interest coverage ratio and the next ratio is operating cash flow so this ratio calculates how much cash a business makes as a result of the sales a preferred operating cash flow number is greater than 1 because it means a business is doing well and the company is enough money to operate. So over time, a business cash flow ratio amount should increase as it demonstrates the financial growth. So the formula for calculating the operating cash flow ratio is the cash flow from operations divided by the liabilities it will show the operating cash flow ratio okay i think that's all the type of the ratio we will move to how to calculate cash flow ratio the first we must to establish the ratio that we want to use so when we calculating the cash flow ratio we need to specific piece of financial information so the first is we must to do a listing the amount the amounts we need at the start of calculating is useful so it also helps us focus on one thing at a time rather than switching from finding numbers to calculate them for the ratio listed in this article is we need to following amounts the first is we need to uh, determine the amounts of cash flow from operations, the total debt, the sales, and current liabilities, also the share of the price of the shares. The second is create the mathematical equations. Uh, a cash flow ratio requires minimal mathematical division, so create a cash flow equation by putting one amount over the other according to the ratio we want to use. We must start by writing the official equation down on a piece of paper for reference and we will use this note to add the numbers into a calculator when we are ready. And the third is calculate the amount. Uh, we must use the calculator to add the values and get the results. We may be able to calculate the ratio on paper if the numbers are exact or we are using the average. And the important here is we must confirm the results. 
So we must make sure to recalculate our cash flow ratio to verify the answer. We want to make sure our answer is accurate and also reliable. If other coworkers are also using cash flow ratios for data collections, uh, and they must consider comparing the results. And the last is record answers in data collection software. So after calculating all the cash flow ratios, we must record the answers in business data collection software. So some business use the spreadsheets to record these amounts while other write them down. Whichever way the business documents this data, taking note of each cash flow ratio answer is essential to tracking change in cash flow over time. Okay, so I think that's all from our groups. So thank you for your attention and your participation. If you have uh any questions so let us know thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh